Kiora from Aotearoa. It's Poppy here, and I have actually not had much of a chance just dealing with my own life. We're all going through so much at the moment. Well done to everyone hanging in there, and especially when you're really conscious about what's going on, that makes all the difference. We're actually here in Three Storm today, um, and we just had the biggest solar flare that we've had in the cycle x5 point something um and um so that's going to create a heck of a lot more enlightenment in the mind and i'm going to explain that all a little bit more after i've been through this so this night wave we have risen up to now stand tall in the challenges of harmonizing with life and transcending slavery and debt and this can only happen as we stand with and align with the divine will. And that's our choice. And not everyone has made that choice. The people who have made that, who haven't made that choice, um, they may not actually be capable of loving and caring very far out of their field. They may just love and care immediately around them. But you'll find that they do. There's just not that empathy. There's just not that love. There's not that care. Um, the empathy just means that they they aren't able to um, feel others, feel the planet, feel what's around them. We are all dealing with a heck of a lot at the moment, so we can't all be here for each other at the moment either. We are really, really learning how to trust and surrender. Um, in our own way but in this alignment we are connected to divine will in divine time so divine time is the frequency of now okay so it's like the light that comes through the sun from the cosmic axis and as we have risen up and we stand tall and we transcend the limits of the bonding, binding vice, false time matrix set in Saturnian time lordship through the dominant religious calendar systems. So this is very, very Saturnian, and all of these timelines, um, I've just been communicating with friends, and there are some very, very, very heavy timelines that get put in place that are still connected to the Satanist um, agenda, to the Draco reptilian agenda. And it's only by being in that, in that divine will are we able to really surpass it and rise above it and only in that divine will do we have the trust and surrender to stay in the divine will and that is our protection in a world that is seeking to kill us all so this is a focused time of creating justice in our communities where abundance may be shared we're in a night wave so these are our thoughts at the moment these are our co-creation and we will hopefully start to see more of that actually working out because there are many people that are left without, and I know that reality. So strength is in sharing and connecting, standing tall in our own authority and authenticity. We expand our telluric fields through the power of love and appreciation with divine connection, protection, and healthy boundaries. So humanity can thrive in communities of love and support, and many people die and deteriorate from the lack of love and support that's fostered in a world where the false time matrix is set to commerce, competition, judgment, slavery, punishment, behaviorism, approval, good and evil, court systems of just and right, and school and education systems, all those things that um, our consciousness got. We put that in place through the trauma that came to this planet um, well over thousands of years ago and that we've been dealing with that and we are coming to the end of the cycle and this is our time to transcend it and so we have to cease serving it and to do so so we cease serving the satanic agenda the calendars all of these ritual dates these gateway dates which just um and all their ritual days and public holidays which actually only give more fuel to the rituals that they write where children are sacrificed so in divine connection with earth and sky, we trust and surrender. Judgment and control is released and we appreciate the expressions of others, including the marginalized. Everyone is 100% valuable. No one is left out. Our hearts open 
um, from our strong foundation of knowing, accepting and loving ourselves, we listen to our bodily communication, which is dis-ease and respond with love and care. Oh my gosh, the pain in my body. <laughs> healing, healing, healing. It's all good. Nine day phase and six wind. Um, this is here. This is only, what, Saturday here where I am, Friday for most. Um, so then we've got, so this will be Monday, Tuesday. And we'll go into this um, nine day phase and six wind, which is really about a flow of honest communication that is grounded in Earth's cosmic knowledge. It's been really, really hard to communicate because I think everything's just been so profound that it's even hard to find the words to communicate with at the moment. Anyway, but this is the breath of life that inspires honesty and community life and it is caring and humble and can be dynamic and passionate. When is the movement of honest expression that can clear away shame and guilt and justice and holds on a being so courage, sincerity and honesty is required to express it and to support love and acceptance is required to really hear it. It's a two-way thing, communication. Purity and clarity in conversing and create crystal, crystal clear renewal that can provide our minds it can purify our minds, connecting with the heart of Father Sky, and the, who is the true time seeder. I like to call him the divine force, Mother, the, the divine source, because she's the growth of that force, of the force of the seeding. Great ideas may enter our minds, creating healthy community. It's as we really are, connect, um, we do love, and we do rise above the Saturnian um, mindset, because that mindset has absolutely no care and no love, it's highly just judgmental, it's highly deceptive, but the higher, um, being connected with divine will is pure love, and pure love doesn't have conditions, it's not about good and bad, it's about things being the way they are, it's about frequency, so um, yeah, night phases are more reflective, and there's less activity, and attention to inner process. So with these really amazing big solar flares, I've always had such a knowing um, that there's an incredible sentience and everything going on to bring balance to a, to a planet who's been raped and pillaged and, you know, everything's been done really to um, diminish that balance and that harmony and through us we can bring that back and so we are having our minds enlightened that means light in the mind and this is changing everyone and everything and it's actually kind of like a living life review so i hope it's going well for you um humility grace trust acceptance is the best way through but we are actually clearing away the toxicity that's in our cells that came through trauma and deception through many ages. And so we were all born with a frequency. So like our frequency is constant and it can gradually rise as our soul develops. But um, our vibration can be pulled down by the, tra tra the trauma, the deception, the attacks, um, the things that we have endured. Um and when we actually are able to release that, that toxicity off the cells, then they just become clear and bright again and our soul light essence really shines through. And so our vibration starts to become closer to our frequency. But this really is a, a time of great surrender and and the best place I can ever recognize ever recommend is just trusting our place within divine will within divine will we get to a point where we absolutely trust everything that happens we don't judge it we work with it yeah and and it's our vibration that is surpassing the way of that false time matrix which was set to Saturnian time which is Satanance so our consciousness has been pulled into Satanism with commerce and and everything and all the alien technolo technology of ritual uh, fueling the agenda 
of death and sacrifice. So yeah, may we really rise above it, stand tall. We are the ones that brings heaven to earth in our hearts and that reflects into our outer worlds as well. So heaps of love to you. Um, I have been going through a lot and I can only imagine that you have too. So I'll try and get my messages out there when I can. I have another big podcast which is coming out on Friday New Zealand. Um, That will be um, Saturday for a lot of people and that's through the Imagination podcast where I've really had a chance to express the voice um, of the big picture, what I'm doing with the mind calendar, my SRA journey and and how it's informing me um, with some really amazing knowledge I believe I was born with that um, was all covered over by, by barrages of assault and terror and abuse which I have been rising out of and now I just feel quite different because finally it's like people are actually hearing me and caring actually about what has happened to me. It's a really, really new thing because I've kind of been left in very dangerous situations where I could have died and everything and it's just such a new thing actually to have people love me. I know it's got a lot to do with my programming and with releasing the Annihilation programs and the Scum of the Earth programs and and all of that. Now what, what I want to add is that I've also been looking at the Sumerian tablet information and the story of creation and oh my gosh I just have to say when I listen to it about the gods coming here and they're just like it's just a massive big wanking episode as far as I can see and I am the true god and they fight and it's just the whole loveless um, out of divine will story really all of them are And it all goes on and on and on about the bloodlines and who is related to who. And really, in all truth, we are all valuable souls. We are all 100% valuable. It does not matter which bloodline we are on. In fact, certain bloodlines cause certain terrible sacrificial things to happen. It levels it all out in some way. But no one is superior, no one's inferior. We don't have harmony and balance in this world with hierarchies and people jostling to have positions of power, being kings and queens and divine feminine and all of these names that people give to set themselves apart from others. That's not unity, that's actually setting apart. So, yeah, so much love to you. And I want to say a special thank you to especially to the people that have now come around me from the Imagination podcast and from the ones that really do care about uh, the children and that we rise out of this harm and this this paradigm. And, um, yeah, we do that within divine will. And I just know that just so many of you are there you'll know because you're absolutely living in love you're no longer competing with money walking on others but you're here taking those bold steps those loving steps that are absolutely love that doesn't have conditions it's not about good and bad it is what it is and it can be so beautiful as we we bring that to one another as well. So much love.